What's up everyone and welcome to this second episode of this uh, um, Don't score a film cue until series So as far as we are concerned to start scoring a film we should always know um, the frame rate at least of the video uh, we are importing in our video otherwise your music could end up being you know n not exactly in sync with the images anyway every sequencer will tell you exactly the frame rate uh, of the video you're importing in it so you can have a clear idea right away from the beginning so i'm gonna now re-import that video from scratch so you can see what i mean i'm gonna choose uh, the shortcut way so command alt o then I'm gonna go to music, logic, Pyrosmas, uh, that story, and boom, that story and before. Yeah. So this movie contains an audio track, um, actions you can perform now. Uh, open the movie. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Obviously. Um, and extract the audio track. Yeah, why not? But the audio tracks, and logic tells you, um, separate in this movie doesn't match that of the project. The movie has an audio, audio separate of 48,000 Earths. The project is currently set to 4,400. Uh, I think 4,400 Earths, 1,000 Earths uh, will be just enough for that. Yeah, here's our... Um, our video then if you just want to know the F fps the frames per second you have to go here you know, at least in logic movie info and then in, within this panel that story mp4 source uh, format and uh, duration one minute and you know here fps 25 but sometimes when you import a new video logic tells you um, that this video has been shot at a different frame rate and ask you if you want to keep this value or change it that's pretty much a really straightforward process and you have to do nothing more than press ok in this case um, logic didn't have to to ask me all that stuff as you can guess the frame rate value is rather relevant uh, to everyone working with uh, video, you know, so even for us as music composers, because basically you can cut the video just near a frame. So let's say, um, for instance, we are working with 24 frame uh, rate per second FPS. Uh, that frame rate is the one of the cinema in general. Uh, that means that in one second we'll have 24 images in other words we can cut each second 24 times at the most by the way an audio file can be divided many 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 times more than a video the standard cd sampling frequency for instance is uh, 44,100 hertz um, meaning that in one second of audio we'll have exactly 44,100 possible cut points almost 2,000 times more than a video so SEMPTY um, I assume you guys know already for sure what the SEMPTY code is and uh, are already used uh, to work with it anyway let's have some uh, discussion about it so the SEMPTY S-M-P-T-E is a numeric time code it appears to be as kind of um, a clock count yet it um, shows not only hours minutes and seconds but uh, video frames as well but you know now there's really a weird thing about all that story the empty time code start always from one hour why well it's a way to have some you know time just before the very first frame takes place in the video um, that pre-time that sort of pre-time is called leader and it is used to insert some technical data 
which are useful, I think, just only for production purposes. With no doubt, uh, they are not useful for for the final audience. I mean, who uh, will never see that on the final screen in the cinema. Okay, now one of these information, uh, for instance, is a particular sound uh, called the two pop sound, and it serves as a sort of alarm just two seconds um, before the first, the very first frame take place in the screen. So it uh, it is always inserted at 0059-5800 to say something like, hey, watch out, film is starting now. So every time you import a new video, you better uh, move it just a little bit on the right, let's say to bar two, like that. And you'll do that exactly for that reason I've just mentioned. Uh, you would have a sort of useful pre-time intended for many things, uh, like insert exactly the two pop sound or just to start some MIDI control changes just before the very first frame um, takes place. But now you see, uh, if I put my uh, playhead here at the beginning of the video, uh, the time code is now 01000200. That's not good. So you wanna move to project settings synchronization, and then you have to tell Logic that your SEMTI code will begin at bar 2. Now, bar position here, bar position 2, and here is, you see, um, at bar position 2, we have z the beginning of this SEMTI code 010030. So you now move back the, the video and it starts at the right SEMTI position. So one last thing, uh, you better then lock the track position by clicking on the padlock icon. So now this case is already locked, but you better uh, watch out and control. You see, control click and unlock empty position. But you want to do instead just the opposite, lock to empty position. Yes. Anyway, back to frame rates. We could have to work uh, with different values. Cinema, as I've just mentioned, um, has generally 24 frames per second, even 38 in HFR, which is a high frame rate. The Hobbit, the film Hobbit, for instance, has been shot with that rate. Um, the Pole European television system is in 25 frames per second. Uh, the American and Russian NTSC uh, instead has uh, 30 frames per second. So that means that when we are finding the right BPM for our music under the, the video, the images, first in the pole system, the European system, uh, we can't exactly halve one second. In the NTSC we can halve one second, right? but obtaining then just 15 uh, which is you know divisible just for five or for three and now third in the cinema we can have for sure one second obtaining 12 but this time uh, we can go even further dividing 12 for six for four for three or for two so hold that math Guys, just to say that um, the cinema standard of 24 frames per second is probably the most convenient for us working with uh, BPMs and music. Um, in the sense that we may have at least more chances to find um, suitable BPM synchronized with the images. Now. Uh, in synchronizing our music with uh, images, we should mention, obviously, the advantages of having some precise sync points. 
or better called Q points. So you may use as many markers uh, you want to and place them at the right empty moment when something you know relevant is occurring in the scene. In our project, I think I'm gonna go for two sync points. Uh, let's open the, the movie. So I wanna have a sync point, um, let's say here. Right here when uh, we, we see after the, the child um this we see the mountains so in, at least in logic we go here in the global uh, arrangement window we select marker and we just click on the add and the plus button here and boom here the marker is created then i'm gonna go for titling it uh, with uh, mountains and i can choose even the color let's say green like mountains then i'm gonna go for the second cue point uh, um let's say let's say let's say so listen i'm gonna change my mind so i think just one single uh cue point it will be just enough for that now remember every time you change the bpm of your project even your marker points will change accordingly you see um if i change my uh, bpm here let's put it uh, randomly 100 140 you know the 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 marker is now changed is no more here no more at the mountains because the mountains are here so to avoid all that you'll have to lock them. Go to list editor here and then choose marker here. Then control click and lock to empty position. And uh, here actually is a white, but you can probably can't see it very well. But this is uh, the padlock icon as this one before. All right, guys, so in these first two episodes, um, we have discussed the basic settings we should always keep in mind whenever we find ourselves uh, at the stage of starting a new music scoring to a video just from scratch. So well done for you to stick in with me till now. Um, in the next episode, we'll finally start writing some original music and everything um, will become hopefully more interesting and creative hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did subscribe to the channel to see more content uh, like this and ding that bell to be notified thanks ever so much for joining me and i'll catch you next time very soon take care